Hey, what's happening, good one? Sir James coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to give you guys a very important channel update, especially for 2017, with some good news as well. But before we begin, I do want to say thank you guys so much for a fantastic 2016. And because of you guys, I was able to reach a goal this year, which was to try to reach 25,000 subscribers. In fact, we were actually pretty close of reaching 26,000 subscribers. So once again, thank you so much to each and every one of you who clicked that subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And because of that, this is where some good news is for 2017, is that for those of you who've been wondering and asking if this is ever going to happen, well, here it is, giveaways. Giveaways will be starting on this channel for 2017 for sure. And I'm going to kind of share with you guys what my ideas are because I don't have all the initial plans laid out. But I just want to kind of share with you guys what I have so far on how I'm going to plan this. And hopefully maybe things will work out for you. Now, the important thing that I do want to state is that right now, the prizes are not going to be as crazy as consoles, for example. However, do keep that in mind is that as my channel continues to grow, then the more winners I'll be able to have and the bigger prizes I'll be able to put out. So again, the more my channel grows, the more winners I could have for giveaways and bigger prizes as well, because there's two main things that I would love to be able to have on this channel. First off is reaching 100,000 subscribers. That's my dream goal on YouTube. I know most people is a million or 10 million subscribers. For me, merely 100,000 subscribers is one of my main goals in life. And of course, on top of that, the other thing that I would love to do on this channel is the day that I announce my first console giveaway is something that I really, really look forward to. And I hope we can reach that sooner or later. So anyways, what will I be giving away for 2017? Well, the way I'm thinking of doing the prizes is that I don't want to go out and buy a game on a select platform because if I do that, I feel like not everyone would be able to participate in the giveaway. Because let's say, for example, I buy Resident Evil 7 on PlayStation 4. Not everyone owns a PlayStation 4, so if a winner happens to be someone who doesn't own that system, they're not going to really enjoy the prizes. So the way I'm thinking about it is, let's say for that particular month, I'm doing a video game giveaway, meaning that if you happen to be the main winner, that winner will be able to pick a video game of their choice. Because one, it would work out because they'll be able to get the game that they want to get and two they'll be able to choose what platform they want it on and another thing I'm thinking of doing too is that if you happen to be a main winner for a video game giveaway we can go about getting you the prize two different ways option number one is that I could either go out and buy the game physically and send it to you by mail or option number two is that if you want it sooner or later then I can go out and buy currency for what that game costs let's say you wanted a game on let's say the xbox one so i could go out and get microsoft currency to that 60 dollars game send you the code you could download it on day one and kind of go from there so again if this is something that works out for you guys let me know what you think of the idea as for when i'll be doing the giveaways i don't have a set month yet again this is currently brainstorming ideas what I'm thinking of doing is that when it's a slow month, meaning that there's not much going on, is probably when I'll do a giveaway because I think that'll be a proper time doing it rather than doing it in a month where things are going to be hectic and to the point where I might forget. So again, that is the initial plan on the channel. And of course, besides a video game of your choice, I'm also thinking of doing some other giveaways where you could also win um, points and stuff like that. I mean, not points, but currency. So, you know, whether or not you want a Steam card, PlayStation Network card, Xbox Live, Nintendo eShop, general things like that. So that's pretty much what I currently have planned out. Now, moving on, the next subject I want to go ahead and talk about is collector's editions. I know one of the most common things that you guys seem to enjoy on the channel is me doing unboxing videos, especially when it comes to collector's editions for video games. Now, for me, I don't go out and buy whatever collector's edition because it's out there and I want views and things like that. It's usually if I do an unboxing of a collector's edition, it's going to be something that I really look forward to. So some unboxing videos that I already have planned, especially for early 2017 is that I will be getting the Resident Evil 7 Collector's Edition. Of course, I'll be getting it on PlayStation 4 because of the whole VR concept, and I really can't wait for that one because I don't know what to expect besides snippets of trailers that I've seen, but I'm pretty sure that one's going to freak me the hell out just like the Intel Ton Rush of Blood did, or maybe much worse. We're just going to have to wait and see. Uh, other boxing videos that I have planned, I forget what the one was called. It was a PlayStation exclusive. The Horizon Zero Dawn. I can't believe I forgot the name of that. So that, that, that is another collector's edition I'll be doing. I know some of you guys might recall that I did a video for the For Honor collectors. Uh, to be honest, that's something 
I mean, I like the statue, but the value of that collector's edition is just not worth it. $220, you get a statue, uh, you know, game with the season pass, but I mean, there's not enough content in there. So for that one, maybe, maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. I might just put a, uh, you know, pre-order. Maybe something crazy happens, or maybe I win $100. Who knows? But uh, at the moment, I currently don't have any plans for that. And there's there's also a Sonic game that's having a collector's edition, and I'm not sure what else will be coming out. But I will be doing a lot more collector's edition unboxing videos, especially for 2017. And I hope you guys look forward to that. And next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is reviews. I know there's a few VR games actually several VR games I didn't really review there's only like maybe one or two I did and uh, what I'm thinking of doing is that for my reviews there's often times where I'll buy a lot of games off camera or to the point where they're not sent to me from the network or developers and so forth so what I'm thinking of doing is maybe kind of starting up like a mini review series where if it's not a main assignment from my network because from my network you'll see like the whole template and stuff like that where it's more of a lengthier review anywhere between 7 to 15 minutes give or take but I'm thinking of doing is that the games that are not assigned to me through my network is that I might do like a mini review series, depending on the game. If it's like an RPG, I can't really conduct an RPG based game into a mini review. So like a lot of these VR games, for example, I could probably narrow them down to mini reviews if that's something that you guys would like me to do. Cause I know oftentimes when I do gameplay videos, I kind of share my thoughts and opinions on that set game. But if you want me to do like a mini review for those, uh, let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in in the comment section down below. Speaking of content, as you guys know, I've been doing PlayStation VR, so that will still continue for 2017 and so forth, as long as Sony keeps supporting the system. I know there's a lot of games still gonna be coming out, and there's a lot of which I can't wait for, especially some of which that didn't come out for 2016. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about VR content. As you guys know, I've been doing content for PlayStation VR and I'll still continue to do that for 2017, so that's not gonna be dying out anytime soon on my channel. However, a common question that a lot of you guys have been asking is will I be doing other VR platforms like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive? And I definitely wanna do something like that on this channel. I especially wanna get the HTC Vive. That's the one I have played demo numerous times over at my local GameStop. And that's another VR platform that I do have an initial interest for that I'm going to try to get. I don't know when uh, I'll be able to get it, but I definitely wanna to try to get that for you know 2017 because that's a little bit more expensive. That's like $800 on top of the cost of games, which is a little bit more than what it is on PlayStation VR. So again, that's something I definitely wanna pay up so that way not only do I have PlayStation VR so that way I'll be able to do something like the HTC Vive as well because I think that'd be pretty cool to have on the channel because you guys seem to enjoy the VR content more than the standard stuff on the channel like if I just upload a standard uh, video game walkthrough I mean they don't tend to do well compared to VR content so again I do want to expand on what I cover for VR so that's something that hopefully you guys can look forward to for 2017 hopefully you guys have an interest for that and besides that, that's pretty much the main things I want to go ahead and talk about. A lot of the stuff is still standard, you know, gaming news that you can expect, reviews, walkthroughs, all the typical stuff. Again, a lot of different collector's editions that I'll be boxing and just want to kind of give you guys a heads up of what I currently have planned for early 2017. Um, as you guys know, I did a uh, kind of a GameStop and Steam haul the other day. I actually picked up four more PlayStation 3 titles. The ones I picked up is Star Ocean. Army of Two, Mass Effect 2, and 3. I actually have a small list that I want to try to get while these games are super cheap before they get expensive or before they come rare and stuff like that. Because as you guys see, this little uh, uh, tower here, this is kind of a mix, mixed bag here. This has like half PS4 games, half PS3. Eventually, I want to fill up one of those with all PS3 games and the other one with PlayStation 4 titles. For Xbox One, not so much because most of my Xbox games are as a digital download due to the fact that I often get Xbox games to review digitally. So I'm not too worried about a physical collection at this point in time. But again, just want to kind of give you guys uh, a heads up of what I currently have planned, let you guys know about the giveaway, and hopefully you guys like the concept idea that I'm trying to go for, especially, you know, winners will be able to get to choose a video game of their choice rather than me go out and buy the game and give it away for something that you might not have. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, I just want to say Happy New Year as well. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing what 2017 brings us. And one of the other things I really want to do as well 
is that I will love to attend other conventions. As you guys know, I went to the PlayStation Experience, which wasn't too bad. I felt like it was a little bit disorganized, and there's a few things that I never got the true try there. So there's a few conventions I want to try to go for for 2017. <laughs> Just drop my phone there. Uh, but I'll let you guys know uh, when conventions come up, kind of let you guys know what I have planned. Um, but anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, as I stated, and I'll see you guys in 2017. <laughs>